Yeah, there's a lot of wind. You know, the snow hasn't really stopped all morning long. There's been a consistent heavy snowfall, certainly since we've been up this morning. There's a lot of ice, too. I can I'll just level with you. I almost had a wipeout moment just like a minute ago. I'm glad it didn't happen. I'm going to try not to have one here live this morning on Good Morning Arizona. Take a look at this car. So this is all of the snowfall that has uh, accumulated overnight, several inches, certainly of snow that has uh, fallen here in the Flagstaff area. And if we walk over here, this is such a cool vantage point because we can see where the I-17 hits uh, the Flagstaff area. And you can see the I-17 is covered with snow. They just had a plow heading south. That's the near lanes, uh, the lanes that are closest to us. And uh, boy, it is already, once again, that snowfall is just accumulating. So let's take a look at some video that we shot a little bit earlier. Uh, some businesses downtown are closed. All of the Flagstaff Unified schools are closed. Uh, city is warning that uh, services may be delayed as well. Of course, there's going to be restrictions, parking restrictions in place so that the plows can get around. ADOT has called in re reinforcements from around the state to operate these snow plows around the clock. They've got 60 plows, more than 100 people. They say their main priorities are I-17 and I-40. And as Javi said earlier, they are urging people at this point to stay away, stay off the roads if you can. Don't want to mess. Uh, with Mother Nature. You don't want to drive into the teeth of a storm like this. Uh, you don't want to be one of those people who's stranded out there on the highway. Let the storm pass. Let our operators do the job of getting the highways clear. Then that'll be the time to go play in the snow. Okay, so if we actually, there's a, there's a car heading this way. So there are a few cars out, out and about, kind of uh, testing the conditions here. We'll watch as this guy makes his way onto the I-17 and heading into Flagstaff. Of course, if you are going to test the roads, you want to be prepared. Bring kitty litter, wear, uh, have chains. You know, at this point, ADOT is urging people, if you're going to be on I-17 or I-40 in the high country, you need to have chains. You should have a four-wheel drive vehicle. So uh, definitely take precautions before heading up here to the high country. For now, reporting live.